Hey everybody. So in this video, I want to talk a little bit about using key switches for virtual instruments in Pro Tools. Um, it's a it's a really common question I get from my students um, in game music and film music courses. You know, what's the best way to work with key switches in Pro Tools, considering that you know Pro Tools doesn't really support expression mapping um, the way that you could do, for example, in Cubase or Nuendo. And because if you just play key switches along with your note entry, um, then those would be subject to transposition, um, quantization, you know, other kinds of processes that you might want to apply to the note data. Okay, so uh, you can see here I have a really simple Pro Tools session, and I'm showing the Spitfire Abbey Road 1 uh, high strings. And I've got a simple, just a few notes in this little passage here. Um, and you can see that I've already got one key switch in place down here um, before the beginning of the musical phrase. And that one is, of course, um, you can see as I move it along, it will change the articulation um, in Abbey Road 1 so that that phrase will play uh, with the various different articulations. So I'll just play this a couple times just to show that. And if I move up to, say, uh, spiccato, pizzicato, Okay, but again, the problem with this is if you want to use real-time properties, which I'm um, a big fan of, uh, or if you're going to use, you know, any kind of quantization or something like that, then the key switches might also be changed. For example, uh, let's say that I have this on pizzicato, and that's where I want it, but then I decide to transpose the notes down by um, a semitone. You'll notice, if you look closely, that the key switch moved as well. So now when I play this back... I'll do that one more time. So let's say that I go down, you know, another half step. Um, and then again, if you watch closely, you'll see that it's going to then get key switched over to tremolo. So definitely not what we want. I mean, this is a real shortcoming of Pro Tools um, at the moment uh, when it comes to working with these kinds of virtual instruments. Okay, so I want to show... Um, one fairly simple way to get around this, uh, again, not as good as having expression mapping, or you could even use something like Divisimate, you know, something like that. Um, but this is just a easy and free way to deal with this in Pro Tools. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a MIDI track here. So I will open the new tracks dialog here and give myself a new MIDI track, and I'm going to call this um, Switches. Okay, and then I have the I.O. view showing intentionally here because what I want to do is make sure that that additional MIDI track I just added is sending its MIDI data to the Abbey Road 1. Okay, so I'll click on it. Uh, there's Instrument 1, Abbey Road 1, MIDI Channel 1 is the one I happen to be using. Okay, so now I've actually got a MIDI track that's going to send its data to Abbey Road 1 in addition to the MIDI data that's coming from the instrument track that the, that the virtual instrument is inserted on. Okay, so an additional stream of MIDI data coming from the switches track. So now if I were to uh, take the key switch out of the track that, that it was on, okay, and then I'm going to move it over to the switches track. Um, and one cool thing in the Pro Tools MIDI editor, and I know a lot of other DAWs do this as well, I can go ahead and make the switches data visible in addition to that instrument one note data, okay? And if I move the little pencil here over to switches, now when I draw in note data, it will actually go onto that purple switches MIDI track, okay? So I could draw in some note data here. I'll make this a little bigger just so you can see. So functionally, it's going to be the same as if I had that MIDI data on the orange instrument track, uh, but I'll get this key switch. Um, from the second track, and they'll work together to get to the same result. Okay, so here we go. And 
And now I can go ahead and transpose the instrument track back to the original pitch, and you'll see clearly the key switch doesn't change this time. Okay, so that's a simple way of uh, getting around some of the key switch limitations in Pro Tools. Uh, in the next video, I'll show a bit more of a power user approach to this um, that is definitely more powerful, but also takes uh, a, a quite a bit more time to set up.